Okay, how are you guys all doing? It is currently 12.34. I have gone off work an hour early. I've had my lunch. I am not home. Dang, my rotator cuff is sore on the left arm. Basically, for the past two days, since we've had two dudes gone who normally open, one dude does dining room, and I normally do processor, which is all the vegetables and stuff. Um, I am now in dining room and someone else is on processor and this is my first like two days doing it and we have to like set down all the chairs So I grab the chair with one arm and I flip it over and I like with the other arm I grab it So I like grab the leg flip it grab the top set it down. It's the fastest way of doing it But since I did it for two days in a row with my left arm since I'm not used to it, my arm is so sore That's lovely. Anyway, I gotta see if I can't get that shipped back today And yesterday's vlog even though it's gonna be like, just like a two minute vlog, but oh well, you know what? Who cares? Two minutes? That's cool. Check this out, guys. MSI is doing the pick MSI Pick Your Holiday Dream PC giveaway. Three winners will be selected. All you have to do is have um, Asus video card and an Asus motherboard selected out. There's no price um, max. Basically, all you have to do is you go to PC Part Picker, build your PC with, there's a max of two video cards. Um, and so, oh, you can even do a monitor, limit of one. Nice. Basically, they allow you to build your dream setup and randomly three people will be selected. So, I'm gonna go to Part Picker. I would do the one I own currently, but I'm gonna build a new one to what my dream would be. That's kind of my, the one I have is the one I would buy because of money, but the one I'm gonna build now is the one I would like, this would be like my dream PC. I created my dream PC. So an Intel Core i7 6950X 3.0 gigahertz 10 core processor. Beautiful for gaming and both editing. Lovely for editing, I'll tell you what. Um, X99 Gaming Pro Carbon ATX motherboard. Um, four, eight, uh, four, eight gig sticks of Corsair Dominator Platinum memory. It's a DDR4 3200 hertz. That'd be killer. This motherboard supports 128 gigs of RAM. Um, I believe a Samsung 950 Pro uh, 512 gig M.2 solid state Samsung Evo 850 series one terabyte solid state drive so just solid states SSDs yeah boy two MS, uh, MSI GeForce GTX 1080 8 gigs um, 8 gig uh, two way SLI that's already twelve hundred dollars in just the two cards an Inwin 805 Infinity case which is beautiful. EVGA Supernova 1000 watts power supply. It's a 80 plus platinum certified fully modular. Windows 10, three Thermaltake Ring 14 RGB three pack uh, fans, 140 millimeters. Alrighty, and then a BenQ XL 27, 27 inch uh, 4K 144 hertz monitor, because why not? Razer Black Widow Chroma, Razer Mamba Trim Edition. This is like a full PC build. And total price boils down to $5,036. That, my friends, is my dream PC. You know what? Since I figured out overclocking, you know, it's not going to hurt my system. So I had indeed decided to get MSI Afterburner, see if I could overclock my GPU. As actually, 
the 970 on on the division gets the amount of frames that I get. So I want to see if overclocking actually helps me break 100 frames constantly. Well, the overclocking did definitely give me a boost while standing and looking around. Um, and honestly, the difference between low and high on this game look almost the same, besides like the way the snow looks and a few of the particles. And low is definitely very playable. Uh, at 100, like running around roughly at 100 FPS, at 144 hertz monitor, Definitely, okay. I can even do medium if I wanted. Yeah, guys, all right, so my brother-in-law is a 3D modeler and he made this for Dota 2. Uh, basically, it's a skin, a weapon, uh, all that fun stuff. Well done. Okay, so yeah, him, he worked, yeah, he worked with a dude. So there's the different parts you have, all of these. This is just Minecraft alone, guys, but when overclocking to the max, um, I did receive an extra 100 FPS overclocking the GPU, um, even though I'm already getting, you know, 300, which is still plenty, but overclocking. So in Minecraft, I did see a benefit from it. I can definitely say I saw a GPU boost in the division when I had the overclock. See, now we're getting in the menu. If I turn it down a level, I get 150 frames in the menu. So this is medium settings. Now, if we go to quick game, so it's like running around 90 FPS. If I had some cooling, like a cooling pad underneath it, it would help a lot for temps and it would allow it to go further. So, 114 frames, and so we gained about 10 frames in the menu. That's just in the menu with the GPU boost. Uh, so, the overclock did help. You can hear the fans. It's not a silent gaming machine. You can hear them. But yeah. All, all together, though, like this game is pretty hefty. I don't know how the dude. Maybe he was running SLI, but he had a 980, just a standard 980. He was getting over 100 FPS in ultra settings running in 4K with a 980. Maybe he had the 980 Ti, or maybe he had it in a, in a like split section. I don't know. I don't know. It's 607. Uh, just eating supper. Justin made some hamburgers with some cheese in the middle. Got some Fiji apples here. Austin's here. Rosetta didn't get home until 9, so she's gonna be out for a while. This is currently 10 o'clock. Just a moment watching the Christmas card. Austin's getting ready to head out to bed. And after the vlog, so if you guys have enjoyed it, push the like button, share it, and subscribe for more daily vlogs. Catch you guys later. Peace.